everyone! Welcome to Yarn of a Kind and in today's video, we are going to see how I bring this little hedgehog to life and we are going to chat a little bit about life and struggles in life. So grab a project of your own and come and crochet and chat with me! Today, I am going back to using acrylic yarn which I bought from my local hobby craft in the UK. I've never used this yarn before and the main reason why I bought it is because it was the only yarn available in store which had the colors that I wanted. It is 100% acrylic and a DK weight. Every skein has 290 meters and costs 2 pounds per skein which is a little more expensive than the acrylic yarn that I've purchased online but like I said, it was the only choice I had. So I purchased it in the beige as well as the dark brown color. The yarn called for a 4mm hook but I ended up using the 3.5mm hook just so that the stitches would be a little tighter. With that, let's get started. One of the reasons why I wanted to crochet a hedgehog is because I have a brother who loves hedgehogs. He used to have a pet hedgehog so when I saw this hedgehog tutorial by Double Dutch Crochet, I needed to make one because it looks super, super adorable if you can't already tell from the picture. It's completely free and I will link the tutorial in the description box below. This pattern is not for the faint-hearted. It's not terribly difficult but it was quite tedious. The pattern started off really easy, basically just crocheting a ball for the head and the body and I got carried away and made two. So even as this video is being edited and published, I'm still working on the second hedgehog. The difficult part of the hedgehog was making the spines because each spine has to be made individually with chain stitches and slip stitches. It wasn't my favorite part. I actually counted that there are about 120 spikes on my little hedgehog, so as you can imagine, it took quite a bit of time. As I was carefully crafting each spine, my thoughts drifted to my brother's hedgehog. Like all hedgehogs, he is a nervous little creature and he would tense up whenever it sensed danger in its environment. It took a while for him to get used to my brother and even then, it would still bristle its spines and curl up while sitting in my brother's hands. We human beings aren't very different from hedgehogs. We have a strong survival instinct built into our system and whenever we feel threatened, we tighten up into a defensive ball and put our walls up so that people cannot get too close and if they can't get too close, they can't hurt us. So this is pretty much me. I'm a nervous little creature and new things make me anxious. When my husband and I moved to Oxford, I was thrown out of my comfort zone. I was so scared to live in a new country and I had no idea what I was going to do. Finding a place to live in Oxford was really tough and we also had to find a new church and build a whole new community. I'm a tropical girl and the UK weather is honestly not my favourite. It can be gloomy and rainy and damp and mostly all of the above. In the early days, I also struggled with walking everywhere in Oxford because I was used to having a car and everything felt so expensive compared to Malaysia. I couldn't settle into the city because I felt like there was no place for me. In short, I was constantly a tense ball of nerves and I would rather curl up and stay in one place instead of going out to seek new and exciting adventures. But like a hedgehog, I grew acclimatized to my new environment. I started to slowly settle in. We started attending a church near our house I went on longer walks around the city and got used to walking and enjoyed the nature and history that Oxford has to offer. I also hunted for a job and started working. I stocked up on cold weather necessities like jumpers and jackets and boots and that's when I picked up crocheting again to make things to wear in the cold weather. My protective walls came down bit by bit and I am learning to cherish every moment of this season where God has placed me and my husband in Oxford. It's natural to feel threatened by changes in life and it's completely normal to face struggles in adapting to change, but I've learned to have faith in God to carry me even through the spiky and prickly parts of life. In Psalm 23 verses 1 to 4, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul. 
He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I hope this scripture passage will bring comfort to anyone who's going through struggles in life and who feels like a little hedgehog, who feels like they are just a ball of nerves and tense and anxious all the time. I hope knowing that God is with you will truly be a comfort to you and bring peace to you. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much everybody for watching and crocheting along with me. I really love these kind of chatty little videos and I aim to make more of them. So if you like this video, please share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!